Hello, Indie Warriors. Silent Signs here, doing my best Literary Rose impression since she played and reviewed this game. Unfortunately, she's a little bit under the weather, so I am trying to fill her shoes to the best of my ability. So this one's for you, Rose. From the development team behind Freezer Pops is the next visual novel to make you laugh or fap. Burrow of the Fallen Bear, a gay furry visual novel. The title alone lets us know that this is a fap first kind of game, designed for fanfiction readers that need a little more oomph. You play as a young cat adventurer with washboard abs and a crop top traveling to a locale known as the Burrow of the Fallen Bear. Along the way, you meet and have sexual encounters with every named character, which are all different animal species, ranging from a fox to a bear to an imp. Besides the fucking, you learn about the game's global ongoing issues, where all species vie for magical stones that give elemental powers. There's also conflict between species, specifically regarding the eagles and the imps of this world due to their genetic advantages over other species. These societal issues tie into the different ships each potential sexual conquest character offers to the player character. If you like master-slave or teacher-student ships, the imp character is your go-to. If you like big, sweet characters or daddy characters, the bear romance option is for you. And if you like aggressive characters or dom sub switch ships, you've got the wolf. And if you want them all, you can have sexual encounters of all in the same run, but at the end, you will have to choose which romantic interest you want to pursue, if any. There are a variety of new pieces of dialogue and world building that you can unlock through the many routes and endings this game has to offer. Endings depend on what items you pick up, rooms you explore, and methods you employ to work through encounters and conversations. If you're looking for a porny, adventure, furry romp, and you're not concerned with spelling or grammar errors or small inconsistencies in character speech patterns, you'll have a great time with this game. There's a lot of potential sexual encounters with different characters to fantasize about. But if you're looking for porn plus strong narrative, unfortunately, Burrow of the Fallen Bear will leave you wanting not just more, but better. Between the unanswered questions about this world and its many conflicts, to constant shifts within characters' speech and style, the novel element of this game failed to make the plot equally relevant to the porn. And I may be wrong, but I think the writers were building towards a wider plot or at the very least gave that impression, so it felt unsatisfactory to see those loose ends never get tied up. Outside of the story, the visual elements were both nice and underwhelming. I found the backgrounds to be quite well done and vibrant in color, with cool designs for the monsters. The art for the main characters were also well done, including the optional live 2D animations that create a kind of creepy effect of the characters breathing. But then we get to the cropped shots of the porn scenes, and besides it being cropped, it honestly looks like baby's first erotic fan art. Despite being perhaps the whole point of playing this game, the art in the sexual scenes was kind of disappointing in its quality. Granted, I have not seen the full uncensored art of these scenes. There is a free DLC for the PC port of this game that offers a better view, <laughs> but on my Switch version, we must survive off of the crumbs of cropped cum shots and explicit descriptions of wee-wees entering orifices. And finally, the background music is fine, except the sexual scene music and sound effects. This may just be me, but I noticed it was the exact same sexy time music as Freezer Pops, even the same cum sound effect. I found that a bit disappointing, and in some ways, it just made me nostalgic for the hilarious porny romp that was Freezer Pops. All in all, my final takeaway is that Burrow of the Fallen Bear has beautiful background art, an interesting plot, and a lot of unique encounters to explore on new playthroughs, but the writing could use a lot of polish, and the porn scenes are just a letdown.